Hiya! So it's time for another Sewing Spotlight Sunday video where I shine the spotlight in different sewing goodies. And this week we're going to be looking at some clover goodies with a particular focus on clover thimbles, needles and needle threaders. So let's get going. Okay, so these are some of the clover goodies that we're going to look at today. We've got a range of needles here. We've got needle threaders here, thread clippers, thimbles and a threaded needle case. This isn't an exhaustive collection of the Clover products, so definitely do head to their website and have a look at what else is on there because they've got a fantastic range. So I'm going to start off with these black gold needles. So the black gold needles come in a range of sizes and they're great for quilting. And you can see here how small they are, which makes them great for hand quilting. Um, and they're especially polished with the black plating, which means that they are rust resistant, bend resistant and snap resistant. So um, they're really good and definitely check out the whole range of sizes so you can find the one that's right for you. And they come in packs of six needles and this extra strength they've got is because of this black coating. You can see it here and it says on the back that the way it's been polished is what gives it that resistance. These are their self-threading needles and the packet comes in five different sizes so you can use the one that's right for you. And on the back of the packet are the instructions about what size needle to use for what fabric and what combination. And um, there's like a little groove just on the top there and what you do is you just place your thread over the top and then gently pull it down until it goes into that first hole, not the second one, the first one. And then that's sorted, that's your easy threaded needles. These are your snag repair needles. These are genius, it blows my mind. So these are to repair snags in your clothes and knitted and woven fabrics. And um, so you can see here in the picture, here when you've pulled a thread by accident, and what's really clever about this, you're not actually threading it through the needle. You can see here how it's different on this end of the needle. So what you do is you're lying this snagged thread alongside your needle and then as you pull it through, the fibres of the thread are going to catch on this textured part of the needle here. And then it will pull that snag straight back, straight back through. So that genius product. These are your sashiko needles. And you can see here, they come in a range of sizes. You can get the really long types. And then you can get a range of sizes here as well. And these I'd actually really recommend because of the length of the needles, this is where your thimble's going to come in. So I'm going to come back to these when we look at the sashiko needles more clearly. Just wanted to come on to these gold eye milliners. So I quite like using milliners for English paper piecing. Um, I find the small, small needles quite difficult to get a hold on. And so I quite like the length of these. And again, they come in a range of sizes. And when it comes to your hand sewing sizes on the needles, Basically, the higher the number, the thinner the needle. So I know that seems a bit counterintuitive, but um, yeah, the bigger the number, you can see it here, the thinner the needle. And then um, the gold eye, you can get the gold eye milliners, but they also do a range of gold eye in the embroidery needles as well. So definitely do check those ones out. Before I come on to the thimbles, I'm going to show you these um, needle threaders. Not only are they beautiful, but they're really easy to use too. So this is your quilt needle threader. And as I said before, these, these are very small, the needles for hand quilting. So actually a normal needle threader isn't really going to work that well. So when it comes to your quilt needle threader, you can see here how it's got, let's see if I can pull it into focus there, wire just down here. So what you're going to do is get your teeny tiny quilting needle and this one you can see whether I can do it on camera or not and you want to hook that in there and you're going to pull it all the way to the base of the pendant there so it's gone all the way through I don't know if you can see it there yeah so I've pulled the needle all the way to the base of the pendant at that point you then come and get your thread it's just really easy to pop it. Actually, I need to make sure you've cut the end of your thread first. So that's when you use the snippers, which I'll come on to. I'm just going to put it up closer so I can see it. So 
so I've just placed it through that through the hole put it through a bit and then pull your needle off and pull it through with the eye and there you go it's threaded your teeny tiny quilting needle so that's that's a really great needle threader to use in combination with your black gold quilting things such a quilt needle threader I love the antique effect on this as well. You see it's beautiful heart-shaped pendant. And again, it comes with all the instructions on the back as well, which is really handy. So these are the two to use in combination. These needle threaders also come with a cutter on them, which is perfect, especially if you're traveling. You know, if you're in a car or if you're on the go, or if you're on a plane, you can't necessarily take your scissors through as well. So if I'm using my gold eye milliners, And again, it's the same, let's see if I can put it against my hand so you can see it. Can you see there's a wire there? You can probably see it just pushing in. The, and it's the same principle, so you thread it through. It's because I was trying to do it through looking at my phone screen instead. So you place it through the eye of the needle again and put it all the way down to the base of it here. So my needle's right at the base. If you... You could do it whilst it's up here, halfway up, but actually that's really then, it's really difficult to thread that. So you want to pull it all the way down so that you've got the widest area here to put your thread through. And then once your thread's gone through and you've threaded it all up, there's then a thread cutter down the other end. And so you can just pull it through like that and it's cut. So that'd be your thread cut on there and threaded through at the same time so that's a really great two-in-one gadget well actually it's four-in-one gadget because in the pack you get two thread cutters so again okay, that's your four-in-one and again it comes with the instructions on the back this is a double-ended needle threader and the i won't show you how it works but the same principle as the others use this end for your larger needles or your sewing machine needles and this end for your smaller needles so you could use this larger end for your larger sashiko needles and the smaller one go back to um go back to your gold eye milliners and go for your size nine because that's the smallest needle so you can use that and that's another really great two-in-one gadget with the instructions on the back these are the thread clippers now these are genius they're really super sharp really stylish and if you see here and it's just so easy to use again it's the same sort of thing when you're traveling you don't want to take a big pair of scissors these are really handy and they come with them they come with a little cover on them cover them up like that when you're traveling with the case going over the top and then they're just really they just bend back and forth so it's really good if you struggle with grip or with that um, fine motor control for using scissors then the thread clippers are definitely great to get so I'm going to come on to the thimbles this is an open sided thimble and this comes in a small and in a medium and um, the open sided let's see if I'm getting focus here the fact that it's open sided means that it lets your finger breathe you can see it's slightly too small for me this one so that might work perfectly on here on your index finger and again these holes are perfect then for using with your needle and it also allows more circulation for breathing so you can get those in a small and a medium and again it just tells you the benefits of this style on the back right these are these are the silicon ones the flexible rubber thimbles and they come in two sizes a medium and a large and i really like these ones because it also really helps to get the grips. The medium fits nicely on here, probably just about on here. And then you could, depending on how you hold your needle, you can then also use the large one too. And it really helps just to keep that grip on your needle. And then because they're rubber, it doesn't they don't feel cumbersome to wear they feel really soft and they really mold to the shape of your hand so that's really handy and the rubber then means that you've got a lot actually that i can't even just about pull that out 
So that's given you a lot of resistance on this. So if you struggle with your grip, especially on the smaller needles, then these symbols are really great to use. And I think especially when it comes to sashiko and you've got your longer needles, if you're feeding it through multiple layers and doing lots of running stitches at the same time before putting it through, you can see like here, then having these silicon rubber grip thimbles are really going to help keep your grip onto that needle so it's not going to slip and it's going to be really easy to use. So they come in two sizes, I think I've said that, the medium and the large, but actually I'd really recommend you getting one of each because then you can use one on your thumb and one on your forefinger like that. And I like how they've got small holes in as well so it still allows, allows your skin to breathe. So they are your thimbles, they're your sashiko needles, the long type and then a range of types in this one, a range of sizes. We've done the threaders and now I'm going to move on to this because I love this. So this is a dome threaded needle case and I was a bit unsure when I saw this, I was like do I need a dome threaded needle case? What does it offer me that a normal needle case doesn't? It blows my mind when I use it. So you twist the cap off. And you can see here that it's got numbers all the way around. So this holds up to 10 threaded needles easily in here without them getting tangled, knotted up, which is what a needle case would do. You know, if you've got 10 threaded needles in a needle case, quite often they will all get knotted up and tangled. And that's a real faff to have to get out again. And this is where this comes in, this product. So you open it up. And you can, I'm just going to turn it here and I'm just going to pop it into this groove here. And you're going to push it all the way in, as far as it'll go. And then make sure that your thread's hanging down into this groove here. And what you're going to do, you're just going to twist it round like this. And you can see it's just pulling the thread through here until it's safety caught up. So again, this is another really great gadget when you're travelling because you can then pop the lid on, have 10 threaded needles, your thread clippers, and you're good to go. But also, you could thread 10 needles up during the day when the daylight's really good, so that you're ready to sew in the evening. To get the needle out, you want to grab hold of that thread. And again, you could use your snag needle now. If you can't get that grip to come back out, you could use your snag needle just to catch the fibres of the thread, or you could use your rubber thimbles. And you just pull it out like that. It just comes straight out. And I quite like that when it's in, you can leave a little bit of it out once it's wound round, because then you'll be able to see what colours on each of your needles as well. So this is genius. It's the sort of product that you try and you think, how did I live without this? So clever. Comes with the full instructions on how to use it on the back of the packet. And also inside, like FAQs what to do if it's if it's not loading properly and it kind of just breaks it down step by step about different things to try and I really like that I think I think giving people the most information as possible without it being overwhelming is what makes the product great so that is your dome threaded needle case love that one so they are a range but not all of some of the clover goodies and we've looked at the thimbles the needles the threaders, the snippers, and then the threaded needle case. So what's caught your eye? Tell me what you're going to rush out and buy or what what's enticed you. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I will see you again next week. Bye.